I'm Josh Allen. I am the driver for the XBO Sales Tesla Model 3 Performance, sponsored by Unplugged Performance. And uh, I currently hold the lap record for the Tesla Corsa uh, uh, at 154 and change. And uh, I've been, you know, Unplugged has graciously invited me out here to test the new Model Y with their first uh, crack at a prototype suspension. So we're out here to test it and see what improvements need to be made. And I think the coolest thing about today is uh, it's June 12th, 2020, and uh, Model Ys have hardly even hit the road. I, I rarely ever see a Model Y, and maybe I've seen one or two of them out in the wild. And, and here we are at a track testing it, testing the performance. I was quite impressed throughout the day we found more time in the car um, I'm really impressed by the brakes coming into that first corner I can really get on it and the car just slows down nicely I like the uh, the brake release the way that it comes off smoothly and uh, is able to maintain the balance of the car and I always know that the stability control is there to uh, to catch me but um, for the most part I can keep my foot in it uh, coming through some of these fast sections through the transitions and the car responds really nicely those carbon ceramics they're they're predictable they're reliable and the the braking force feels really good um, I, I really like the car mid corner when it's loaded up uh, I can really feel the balance of the vehicle like it feels very good balance front and rear right. and uh, and when I'm getting on the gas and I'm unwinding the wheel, it really frees up the car nicely. And there are times when I can still feel the stability control kicking in and, and cutting a little bit of the power at corner exit. But for the most car, the for the most part, the car feels pretty planted. I was quite pleased with the way that the car performs. I can feel the weight of the car and I can feel the the height, you know, the higher center of gravity. But the car is still fairly well planted and as a first iteration on the suspension I was quite happy with it um, there are areas I think that could be improved and I've given my feedback to unplugged performance uh, it's a great initial starting point so I'm, I'm excited about that and I'm excited to see what they come back with in their second iteration after they've had a chance to revalve the shocks and uh, and go at it again maybe maybe even with a stiffer spring as well so I think what's really impressive is that we were chatting about where this car fits within the uh, the lap records and we went online to see what the records were at Buttonwillow Raceway and we found that this uh, crossover SUV uh, four passenger four-door vehicle slots right between a 997 uh, turbo and a Porsche 997 GT3 so it's a pretty respectable result for uh, what is essentially a passenger crossover SUV, small SUV. So that's, uh, that's pretty impressive.